Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the front camera is not working, if it's black, or you just can't access it at all. So let's get started. So usually if you open up your camera app, your front camera, first of all, make sure that you're using your front camera. You have to make sure that you use this option right here, which again, toggles to the front side of your camera. So make sure you're using that as well. Now let's say if it's completely black or doesn't show anything or you don't see anything at all, if it's white, whatever the case is, first thing to do is go ahead and slide up your uh, phone just like that. And once you slide it up, we're gonna look to close out the camera app just like that. And once you have done that, you're gonna reopen it. And all that does is a quick restart. Again, just slide up and just like that and you're just restarting your camera to make sure it's just not like a simple issue where it's just frozen or something like that. Now, after you have done that, uh, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings. And once you go into your settings, let's say you're trying to use the camera for a certain app, you wanna make sure that app has the access to the camera. Let's say it might be things like Instagram. Maybe you're trying to use the Instagram app with your camera, you want to make sure this option is turned on for camera. If it's turned off like that, you will not be able to have access to the camera. So make sure that is turned on and go through the apps that you're having the issue with. Let's say maybe TikTok, if you're having issues, you want to make sure the camera access is enabled so that that app camera can be used by that app itself. Now, after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to check in your settings is in your accessibility. So you'll see here, there's a bunch of options. You go to accessibility here and you want to go for voiceover and you want to make sure your if voiceover is turned off. And sometimes the reason why that is, is the voiceover can interfere with your camera settings. So you want to make sure that is turned off, grayed off like this. If it's turned on like this, you Important. you want to you want to you want to make sure it's turned off just like that. So turn off voiceover as well. Now after you have done that, the next thing to do is a force restart of your iPhone. And to do that, you're gonna press and release the volume up, and then press and release the volume down button, and then hold the side button just like that. And you'll see here the phone. I'm gonna keep on holding the side button on the right hand side here till the screen goes completely black. And once it goes completely black, I'm gonna wait till the Apple logo reappears and I'm gonna let go of it. Again, that's gonna be volume up and down really quick and then hold the side button until the screen goes black and you see the Apple logo. And all this is doing is a nice restart and re reloads the code to make sure if there's a software issue impacting your phone for the camera not working, it should resolve it. This method will not delete any of your personal things like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. Now, after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the next thing you can do is go into your settings and this time in settings, we're gonna go to general and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna click on the first option for reset. The reset that we wanna do is reset all settings, which will take about two to three minutes. And before you do that, what that will do is it will uh, reset things like network settings if you have safe password or BPN settings, things like keyboard dictionary will get reset if you add a certain um, words to the dictionary. Your home screen layout, if you have a custom layout, it will reset it back to how it was originally and settings around uh, your location and privacy. Now, it's important to do this if it's not working, if it's a setting, it could be interfering with your camera, you will have to do that, but keep in mind that these things will be also reset. However, it will not delete things like photos, videos, apps, any of your personal data as well. So after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing and the final thing you can do is come back to settings again, go to general, software and look for software update and see if there's a software update out. Generally, the reason why you want to update your software to the latest version is if a previous version that you installed might have been impacting your phone functionality, you want to make sure the latest version is up to date to make sure those issues are fixed. And when you do this, if you see an update here, you'll click on download and install. While you do that, make sure your phone is connected to good Wi-Fi or cellular data connection and also your phone is at least 50% or more charge so that the installation could be successful. So that's it for fixing your camera. Now, if your front camera still isn't working after you have done that, most likely it is a hardware issue. In that case, you'll need to take it to Apple or authorize Apple repair shop so they can take a look at it and see if it's a camera hardware issue that's impacting your phone. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. So please make sure that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.